And then there is another one. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? Hope y'all had a good weekend starting the week off right. You know what I mean? Back at it. About to have another good week at it, putting out these videos. Um... Thank you to everybody that's been supporting all the people that's been, you know, subbing up or checking out the videos or leaving a comment, uh, you know, liking them, whatever. I got this story that, you know, <clears throat> it happened last year, April 2nd. But of course, I wasn't doing um, YouTube, so I'm going to cover it now. Last year, there was a YouTuber that was shot in what the Duelist Town Center in Virginia doing a prank, acting stupid like. I don't know. After after the COVID lockdowns, I mean, if mental health wasn't an issue before, it definitely was after the lockdowns. And a lot of people are having a hard time reintegrating into society. Not saying in this particular uh, situation, but, you know, a lot people are. Their fuse is a lot shorter given a lot of things, not only COVID and, and the lockdowns, but also the state of the economy over the last couple of years. A lot of people are, you know, they're, 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 the stress level is through the roof. And this category of YouTube that does these pranks on people, you know, there are guys that do it properly and do it well or push the boundaries, but not too far. But there are guys that just, I mean, I mean, I'm waiting to look on and look up, a, read up on them like how I'm reading up on this guy. Because, you know, you you guys are just I'm, I'm hey man, I'm just a guy on YouTube. I'm nobody like this is just what I prefer. I prefer something more like this shooting videos like this versus going out and, you know. Having I mean. Hey, if that's what you think is funny, homie, that's what you think is funny. If there's money in it, that's what that's what most people are doing it for. It's clout. It's easy. It's quick. They can make people look however that they want to in those videos. And then those people just have to deal with it. They didn't get any money off of it. They didn't get any clout. All they got is people looking at them like if they crazy, you know, that see them around the way. Now they like, oh, I saw him on the internet, internet acting like that. Now they trying to get a reaction or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I say all of that to say. So that's what uh, Cook does. He's in that same category. Now, his own is a little bit more aggressive on the aggressive side from what I've seen. And like I said, he picks on. It seems like from what I've seen in a few videos, I have not seen all of his videos. OK, I'm going off of like two or three clips, but it's been well, no, no it might be like 10 clips. But it's been guys that, you know, he's not really pushing certain people's buttons, you know. And, you know, he's a he's a bigger guy. He's six foot five. So he's picking on smaller guys, which in, which was this in this situation. And I'm not, you know, saying I, I want anybody to be harmed or anything like that. But some of y'all push it. And. People are going to fight back, and I'm all for that. I'm all for somebody, you know, because before this dude pulled out the gun, there was a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot going on. He says to stop. But anyway, without keeping it too much longer, let's get into the actual thing. So this is going to be. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. This is going to be uh, Cook over here. Okay, this is him after he got shot, which he just used uh, pretty much to continue a clout chase. And says he's going to continue putting out videos, which we'll get to later on uh, in this video. But um, we'll get to the actual event. And I will pause it before it actually goes down because um, YouTube doesn't like that. So he has him and his boy got a he got a phone. He has his phone in his hand playing some sort of audio. Coley, who's. Clearly a smaller guy, and that's what the defense argued, that, you know, it's an intimidating guy. It's multiple of them. He's walking away. He's asking them to leave him alone. He's still um, coming towards him. Cook is still going towards Coley, and he was in fear at that point. 
and he does get off on that on that charge but they do charge him with shooting inside of the uh mall that's what he's that's what he's gonna end up serving time for they say two to ten years but like i said he did file file the uh there are as of recording this video there are plans to file uh an appeal i don't know if it was in this one or that one hard to believe but i actually did try to record a couple times before this um but i messed up so back to the clip So see now his man's and him coming towards him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He says no. See, he even says, get out of my face and swings at the phone. So I mean, I guess at that point, you know, I guess he could uh, Cook could say he assaulted him, but Cook you're not only coming towards him, but you also know it's a prank. So you kind of, as the prankster, you kind of got to, you know, he, I'm sure, knows that he's pushing people's buttons for the reaction that he wants. But, uh, homie, like I said. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Continues following them. All right, right there. He's going to pull it. He's, uh, there's one discharge. And um, like I said, and Cook is still alive, okay? He's still alive. Like I said, I don't want anybody to be harmed. But if you play stupid games, you're going to win stupid prizes. So after they got the verdict, let's hear what um, Cook's mom, I believe that's his mom or maybe the attorney, and then Cook had to say. And after this verdict came down, here's what they had to say. At the end of the day, you know, we respect what the jury says. Um, and my family and I are just grateful and thankful that I have my son here. And okay, it's his mom. She, all right, we'll get to them in a little bit. Nothing else matters right now, and that's, that's it. I want to thank the prosecutors, the Commonwealth prosecutors, uh, Ms. Jones and uh, um, Eden Holmes. They did an outstanding job presenting this case, and we couldn't have had it any better. And regardless of the outcome, you know, the jury's the jury, and we totally respect how... There's your boy Tanner Cook right there. This bozo. I'm not. But. Our law plays out and this was the outcome today. And we respect that. Yeah, Tanner, you're uh, let's go. No, just real quick. Um, just, uh, Tanner, you said you wanted to. What's your message to the people who might have a question about your content itself? Um. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to keep watching. So you'll continue to make videos? Yeah, probably. We'll see, you know? How disappointed are you about this? So I really don't care. Way. I mean, it is what it is. It's God's plan at the end of the day, so. There you heard it. So he's going to continue doing it. I mean, to the young kids out there, if y'all do, if y'all have come across this video and still watching, please don't, please don't be like Tan. If you're going to do it, do it tastefully, respectfully, you know, like a, like a like a Gideon, like a Canel. Um, there's a couple guys out there. I can I don't know. I'm trying to name younger dudes. All right. So now this is what his dad had to say about the whole incident. And this is what I mean about the parents. They're not holding him to accountability. And you see it in how he's acting uh, after the verdict came down in the previous clip. I'm. I mean, you think you would learn, but some people just gonna use things for clout and. You know, he's just going to hope that that gets him to the next level. But before I get to the clip, a lot of people that's going to tune into his stuff moving forward are looking for something big like this again. And, you know, that that gets to be in a real dangerous game. But it's unfortunate. I'm getting all kinds of uh, messages um, from people around the country saying that, um my son got what he deserved, and matter of fact, I feel like he should have died. The incident. All right, I won't say he should have died, but he got what he deserved. And there's 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 um documented YouTubers from back in the day that have been offed because they've done pranks and stuff like that that have gone too far. Like, relax. And coming out of the pandemic, like I said, relax with people. There's no need to push people's buttons because you know you don't know and. America is the, uh, I'm going to get to that point later.
resulted in sparking strong reactions online. While many agree this level of violence is wrong, they also disagree with Tanner Cook's content. But his father says getting a reaction is part of the joke, like other prank shows. I mean, I guess people are just, you know, bitter and um, offended and like this guy that shot my son. I guess if you're angry and offended that you can do and say whatever you want. A detective says it has nothing to do with being angry. See, and this is what I'm saying. This is how the parents are viewing it. And this is why he's viewing it like this. It has nothing to do about not having a sense of humor or angry or bitter or none of that. It has to do with we just came out of a pandemic. People, a lot of people are going through mental health issues that's what they make such such a big excuse and big thing in this country mental health mental health they don't want somebody trying to monetize off of their misery and and and, st and anger they don't want somebody to be coming to their job just to get a reaction from them that like i said they're making the youtuber or whatever their platform they're on they're the ones making all the money and these people are just gonna have to put up with people in their community constantly fucking with them trying to get the same reaction you know i'm saying that that pranks that, that pranking uh genre is like you know what i'm saying that shit like there's not many really good ones you know what i'm saying but before anybody be like, oh, oh, in America, in America, you guys are. Blah, blah, blah. All right. As y'all can read, it says France, where gun control has given criminals the upper hand and executions are part of daily life. Yeah, they're not going to show you this. I'm not going to play the full clip because I can't, but I'll explain what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying um, this uh, is clearly not America. If you look at the license plates, if y'all can see them. All right. But before I get into my final random clip, well, not really random, but my final clip. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all think. Y'all think Tanner Cook. Uh, should stop clout chasing. You think he should chill out, learn his lesson. Mr. Uh, Coley, sadly, is uh, paying for that lesson, whereas he, because he's the one that's been sitting in jail uh, this whole time. And maybe, I don't know, maybe Coley re overreacted to, to, to the prank and should have just been able to take a, a joke. He shouldn't, he shouldn't be bitter and, and, and upset and miserable. He should be able to just take a joke. Uh, like we used to back in the day. Or do you think this guy is a fucking idiot? He got what he deserved. And it's just a, the simple, Hey man, if you're going to, be acting stupid. If you're going to be pushing people's buttons, don't be mad when you get the, when you push that right button, when you push that right button and you get that, don't get mad. And he's lucky that, th I mean, he's lucky that this guy shot once he could have shot two, three, four times. Like, you know, he's lucky that this guy, um, you know, at least was able to practice that much restraint. Uh, but yeah, now without further ado, let me get to my final clip. All right, as you can see, group of guys over here. This guy hops out with the uh, yay gay. And, um, yeah, it's, he's going to let it off. He's going to let it all off. So um, I'm not going to play that for, of course, reasons. But this is in France, so it doesn't only happen in America. Okay, you're only going to hear about it in America a lot because they're trying to push their agenda. Till the next video, y'all stay safe, blessed, amazing, out the way, hydrated, and uh, wavy, out.